Hey everyone, we're back in another video. Yes, we are. We got the Habs and the Leafs tonight for May 22nd, 2021. It's the game preview, round one, game two. Habs up, one nothing, And that's what we have so far. Let's get right into it. But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe. Be much appreciated. Try to get the 500 subs here. And let's get right into it now. So, wow. 2 1 Habs was the other game on May 20th, 2021. And yeah, that was a big game. John Tavares got injured with his knee and a concussion. Both things. Yeah, that stinks for him for sure. Who knows how long. They said um, for his knee, it would be at least two weeks. So if he had that concussion, you, of course, he has a concussion, so who knows how long that goes for? Who knows? That's all so unpredictable. It could be, you know, after a few weeks, after the two weeks, it could be just saying goodbye next season. You know, who knows? You never know. It, you know, concussions are just really weird, and that's how things gone. K Price playing very amazing. I'm just amazing in that game. But let's get into now the preview. And we have the game two here. We'll start the Leafs. Some lineup changes now since John Tavares is not in the lineup now. You have uh, Zach Hyman, Austin Matthews, and Mitch Marner. That stays the same as game one. Here's some change-ups now because of that. We have Alex Galchenyuk. He was a healthy scratch in game one. Nick Foligno volunteered to become a center heel. He was on the wing with... Uh, Galchenyuk was, and Tavares down the middle, but not this time. So Nick Foligno down the middle with Neil, um, William Nylander. That's how things are going. Now Pio Enfall gets put into the lineup after being a healthy scratch. Kerfoot goes down the middle. Makayev on the wing. Um, Riley Nash was actually uh, played game one, and now he's going to be a healthy scratch tonight. And that's how things are going. That's who they have. Interesting, they put Envo on that third line, and then you have on the fourth line, Joe Thornton, Spencer, and Simmons. That stays the same, like we know. That's how things are going. So that's how it is. On defense, we have is Morgan Riley, TJ Brody, Jake Muzzin, Justin Hall, Rasmus Sandin, and Zach Bogosian. That is what we have. And in goal tonight goes to Jack. Campbell. So that's what it is for tonight. Um, just a couple lineup changes, like I said, the, down the middle. Uh, with Felino, Galchenyuk on the wing now, Envol. Um, you know, Galchenyuk, Envol. Um, uh, entering the lineup in game two. Very interesting for sure. Let's go on to the Hab side. We have his Thomas Tatar, Philippe Deneau, and Brendan Gallagher is your number one line. That doesn't change whatsoever. Then you have Tyler Toffoli, next to Zuki, and Yuel Almir. Then Corey Perry, Eric Stahl, Josh Anderson, and the fourth line is Paul Byron, Yusperi Kakenemi, and Achui Lekkinen. So... Um, KK there with, um, Yusperi Kakenemi, he has been a healthy scratch in game one. Game two, he's in the lineup. You know, a lot of people thought game one, he should have been in the lineup, but Eric Stahl got a point in that first goal against Anderson, and you need Stahl, and, you know, he's a big playoff performer, and you gotta, you need him. You just need him. Like, you, you can't go out with, without him, you know, he just... He knows how playoffs go, um, of Carolina for so many years, um, you know, for sure, and then a little of Minnesota, uh, you know, like, stuff, you know, what is it, four years of Minnesota, one year of New York, you know what I mean, with the, with the, uh, Rangers there, so definitely, um, Stahl is definitely good to have there, Corey Perry, Josh Anderson, and you know, that's your checking line, absolutely fantastic, for sure. On defense, we have is Joe Edmondson, Jeff Petrie, John Merrill, Shea Webber, Brett Kulak, and Ben Shira. Romanov is scratched again for a healthy scratch again tonight, that's what they have, I'm sure sometime during the series he will be sprinkled into the mix again, but we'll see how that goes. And also we have his K Price back in that after having a 35 performance, a 35 save performance, I should say. And what a game he had, some great quality saves he made. Absolutely stunning the Leafs, giving the Habs the one or nothing series lead. Now for um the stats, the last five games, of course, um this kind of tails into the end of the season, plus the playoffs. 
So Lecky has four points and Muslin has six points. Lecky doing very good at the end of the season. Absolutely doing a fantastic job. Nick Suzuki with three goals and Vol with three goals. Three assists by Toffoli, five assists by Muzzin, plus five by Joe Edmondson, and a plus six by Jake Muzzin. Now, um, Joe Edmondson was the best plus minus guy. Yes, he was the best plus minus guy in the National Hockey League um, during the season, for sure. This year, he had a plus 28. Very, very good. Um, you know, he plays great with Petrie, and you got to love it. So who's going to win tonight? Well, I think the Leafs are going to win. I'm going to say 4-1 Leafs. And starting off, I'm going to say Nick Foligno gets on the, you, you know, ignites some and said, let's get moving. Come on, everyone. Come on, you got to get moving. Come on, I'm down the middle. Let's get moving. Rally for John Tavares. I think that's what they're going to do. And I wish to have... Some, but I hope the Habs do shock me and be like, good. I would love to have him up 2 to nothing, but I just don't see him. The redemption by the Leafs, but I think it's going to be a tight one. I think it might be like 3-1, to 4-1. to one. I'm going to say 4-1 to one Leafs, and yeah. So we'll see what happens. I said 4-1 to one Leafs, and Nick Foligno with the first goal. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.